you know, do you know, one of the things as Christians that we're tempted to do is we are tempted to make Christianity so much so easy for people. Yes. The temptation is, oh yeah, it's Paul of Jesus. It's not hard. It's not hard. You know, the temptation is to say, oh yeah, come to church, it's lovely. Yeah. The temptation is to say, come and follow Jesus. You know, you'll love it. Yeah. Well, all of these things are true. Yes, you will love it. And Jesus does say to me, come to me, all you who are weary and overburdened, then I will give you rest. Yes, that's true. But I think sometimes we forget to share the small print with people when we're telling them about Jesus. Yes? Is it a narrow road when you follow Jesus? Yes? It's a narrow road. Is there sacrifices that have to be made when we decide to follow Jesus? Yes? Did Jesus say, you will be persecuted if you are my followers? Did he say that? Yes, he did. You know, it's much worse than sometimes we let people understand. I actually think that sometimes you know, because we like the people that we want to share Jesus with. Of course we do. Yeah? We don't want to. We don't want to give them the, the access. Absolutely. You know, people die for this. You know? You don't want to hit them with that straight away, do you? You don't want to say, well, actually, throughout the world right now, there's a whole bunch of people who will actually die for their faith in Jesus Christ. You don't want to be telling them that at the, at the number one. You don't want to be saying, well, actually, what Jesus says is you're going to deny yourself, yes? You're going to put my interests before your own interests. You're going to love other people. You're going to put their interests before and, and I think sometimes as Christians, we are very tempted not to tell the whole truth. And we hate it when we find out stuff later on, don't we? Don't you? You know, when you sign up for something, and you find it's much worse than what you thought it was going to be. Is that right? You know, when you actually read the small print and find out that you've signed a 10 year contract on your broadband. <laughs> yeah? Uh, when you've realised that it's got, that you've taken finance out on the car and you realise it's a balloon payment at the end. Yes? Who's done that? You know? These big, these things, you don't like it when you find out there's more to it. Uh, than what you initially thought. And actually, in, as we read some scriptures, wow, that's a very useful image, actually. You show a picture of me, and then say, it's much worse than that. <laughs> I mean, that's a really good visual image. It's worse than that, you know, to follow Jesus. Mm. Yeah. Hannah very kindly said to me, she said, Howard, you look a lot older in real life. <laughs> and then I went over to a hospital who showed me a picture of somebody before I looked like. who was like 75. But anyway, the reason that we put that there is because as Christians, we need to be absolutely of the opinion and understand that the decision that we make to follow Jesus is is a hard one. It's a hard one. It's not, it's not a little bed of roses. You know, you don't get your heaven now, you get your heaven later. 